You climb up the winding stairs as you finally reach the throne. What brings a civilian like yourself here? The god of war, Hala, spoke out. Grandpa, I feel a strong aura within this person. If they are even human, that is. Hal, the demigod of hope, spoke to him as his grandfather nodded. Hala stood from his throne and looked down upon you. Creation from both life and death. It seems they are worried for a land too. His voice became serious and looked at you straight in the eyes. If you wish to salvage this land, you will have to go through us, the gods of each island. He stood there in fear and excitement. Back in their paradise, both Lily and Gladian planned to leave the home, and but still speculate on humanity. <clears throat> Many sirens had played all over the island, as the two siblings were separated due to the immense amount of soldiers that, ca that chased them. They were forced to use their magic to leave the sanctuary. Lusamine sat at her throne, twiddling her fingers against the throne's arm. I knew I should have killed them right after they were born. She looked towards her servant, Chief Faba. Locate life and death immediately. They will be punished for their actions. You've managed to create a sword and shield to combat this deity, <clears throat> blocking the attacks from his charging fists and managing to stab him a couple of times. His grandson kept pleading for a less brutal way of this, but he couldn't get through to him. Your mind flickered of many ways to counteract him, but eventually you get pummeled by his multiple f fires from his fists. The saviors you call yourself, but ready for my final attack. He stood in a prepared position, slamming both feet against the ground. Tapu Koko, I call upon you to finish the job. A loud screeching was heard across the sky as the deity's ally came to his call. Tapu Koko charged his electric beam and soon shot it at you. But to your surprise, Hal managed to block the fire with the shield. Are you alright? He asked you, as you nodded to him, still starstruck. Hal, get out of the way! You're going to hurt yourself. Grandpa, you're taking this wrong. Fighting isn't always the solution. He walked towards his grandfather and set him down as set him down on his throne. Hal was filled with regret once her view returned to him. Alright, grandson. I shouldn't have dragged them into the... <clears throat> he walked towards you and gently held your hand. An orange flow... An orange glow flowed into your body. May the soul of bravery in any situation. We trust that you will save this region. The last few words were just like the ones you heard when you were created. He smiled at him. <clears> How <throat> stepped down and handed you a box. Inside were two crystals. I hope you see us... Uh, we hope to see you again. Keep this to remember us. He bowed to both of them as he let go to the next fight. Lily awoke in the grassy fields of Mele Mele and began walking towards the god of war and demigod of hope. Hala! How? It's so great to see you two again. She smiled brightly at them as Hal immediately brushed at her and hugged her. It's great to see you again, Lily. He was almost going to burst into tears as Hala just chuckled. We've seen your creation, it's definitely successful. Lily blushed in embarrassment and quickly recovered her stance. Is there any place I can stay? My mother is acting violent, and I wish to stay elsewhere. I have a solution to your problem. How let's go of her and leads her to a nearby town. Meet Dane Kukui, a tutor of mine. How greets him with a warm smile as Kukui waves back and looks at Lily. It's a pleasure seeing you, goddess of life. He bowed down to her as Lily shook her head. No need for formalities, Kukui. Please, call me Lily. She gently smiled at him as Kukui got up from his position. She was searching for a home to stay in. Hal responded as Kukui pulled down a ladder. It's not regal, but it will have to do. He tilted his glasses up as Lily began climbing up the ladder. A comfortable looking bed, a desk, and a rugged a rustic bookshelf was at the top of the house. It looks nice. Thank you for letting me stay here. She climbs back down and starts changing form. Just making sure not to cause any scenes, she decided to take on a form of a regular human. I just now noticed. Lily, where is your brother? Hal said, as he doesn't feel any presence of him on the island. A horrified expression slowly appears on Lily's face. 
Okay, guys. <laughs> God. Um. Well, let's just say that I really, really enjoyed uh, reading this part of the freaking story. And I'm so sorry because I messed up on some of the freaking on some of the words like instead of the next fight as i said i was actually supposed to say next island <laughs> uh me read can't good <clears throat> so i'll see you guys in the next video i'm gonna try first with you and um bye bye